under chairman Peter Coates, Stoke City have become an established Premier League team. With manager Mark Hughes, Stoke have finished ninth in the last three seasons, an overachievement considering that the club are in the bottom half of the league's revenue table. This feat has been achieved through a programme of sensible investment and owner support. For the 2015-16 season, Stoke recorded a revenue of £104,200,000. This breaks down into £8.4 million in matchday income, 16.3 in commercial and a whopping £79.5 million in broadcasting income. As with many other clubs, the Premier League's increasing TV deals have been crucial to Stoke's stability, as seen in the much smaller revenue increases through other streams. For example, matchday income was up from £7.6 million in 2015 due to higher average attendances, but Stoke are limited in this area by the size of their stadium. At the beginning of the 17-18 season, Stoke aimed to have completed a small expansion, adding 1,800 extra seats, taking their capacity to around 30,000. But this pales in comparison to the big clubs in the Premier League. For example, Manchester United made £106 million from matchday income in the same season. The other reason for Stoke's lower income in this area is their approach to ticket prices, which haven't risen since their promotion in 2008. Stoke's cheapest season ticket costs £294, which is insignificant when compared to Arsenal's at £1,014. Regarding commercial income, this rose by £1.7 million from 2015, largely due to the signing of new shirt sponsorship deals and the naming rights of the Bet365 Stadium. However, most of their long-term deals are now in place, meaning that commercial income is unlikely to rise significantly in the next couple of seasons. The burden, then, is on broadcasting income, which rose by £2.1 million from 2015. This means that Stoke are heavily reliant on TV money, it being 78% of their total revenue. However, this is not uncommon in the league, with four teams more reliant than Stoke. Crucially, the owners have financially supported the club, investing around £100 million since their takeover. Much of this has been spent on player sales in two bursts, first enabling Tony Pulis to build a squad capable of staying in the league with players like Peter Crouch and Kenwin Jones, then further strengthening under Mark Hughes with Jen Shakiri and Marko Arnautovic amongst others. The wage bill too has increased. Stoke now have the eighth largest wage bill in the league with £82 million, giving the club a wages to turnover ratio of 79% on the high end but contextually manageable. Given the revenue rift, it will be harder for Stoke to progress much further, but with a sensible chairman, consistent management and a solid position within the league, Stoke are making all the right moves. <laughs>